Mr. Harrison, you've played in this show for a long time now. What do you put down? What is the secret of its success, do you think? Well, that's rather a hard one, isn't it? Uh, it certainly went very well tonight. Uh, I've always thought it was a combination of quite a lot of things that made it so popular with an audience. I think it's Shaw. I think it's uh, um, the great lyrics of Lerner and the wonderful music of Lowe and the direction of Moss Hart and uh, the acting of the British cast. On the lighter side, how much of the personality of Rex Harrison goes into Professor Higgins? Uh, well, that's uh, one of those things that I'd rather not answer because I, I have no idea what the personality of Rex Harrison is. Miss Andrews, from your point of view, how did it all go? Oh, wonderfully well. It couldn't have been better as far as I was concerned. How did you get on with your Cockney in the States? Did they understand you? Uh, well, I, I was a little bit um, over-authentic, believe it or not, when I began, so I had to turn it down a bit. But, uh, you know, coming over here, I had to sort of bring it back up if I... Uh, I tried to, anyway. You've now produced the authentic Cockney for the people who speak the language. Uh, well, I don't know if it's authentic, but at least I try. <laughs> Do you think it's a good or a bad thing for a young actress like you to stay so long in one part, a long run like this, or should you be moving around and finding new experiences? Uh, no, I think it's an awfully good thing. I think uh, a lot of people say that to do sort of a long sort of season of repertory is, is very helpful, but I, I can't think of anything that's been more helpful to me because it's, you know, a long run enables you to sort of think and work things out, to be able to time things, etc. After all this time, do you ever forget your lines? Well, I was frightened that I might, just through knowing them so well, but thank God I didn't.